Okay, this part of the video is for YouTube user Epic Creaky who wanted to know how to build one of these. It's fairly straightforward, it's just an old VCR recording drum. You can get these out of any old uh, VCRs that you can either pick up off the side of the road or go to your local recycle depot and they'll probably give you one. And uh, you pull this off, it's mounted diagonally like that inside the uh, steel chassis. And there's uh, usually two or three bolt holes on it. Uh, take the bolts out and it should just drop out. I've already removed the other uh, Bell DC motor that uh, usually run this. Because these only go at about 800 RPM. We're going to be pushing it around 4000. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've got mine mounted in a uh, steel housing. Which is made out of an old tin can. Like the, uh, the original Fidel codes were. As you can see, I've used, made a, uh, just made a dog clutch and got a uh, hard disk drive motor running it. There's the other board. It's an old IBM Death Star. As you can see, the most reliable hard drive motors that I can get. And, uh, yeah, the other uh, stand and everything's just, um, Meccano. And it, uh, it extends all the way up to the actual siren hub, which is up about here. As you can see, there's the, uh, the stator of it. And it's, um, yeah, it's just Meccano, which is a universal building set. Uh, today I'm actually going to show you how to turn one of these into a siren since uh, there's barely any or literally no videos out there explaining how to. So uh, I'll get this set up, pulled apart, set up on the other uh, vice and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, don't know how well this is going to work out because the weather's turned shit, but we can always have a go. Basically, need a hacksaw. We're going to cut slots in it like this one here. This one was for the, uh, the data cable that went to the ferrite um, magnet. I believe that's a magnet that's on it. But, uh, we're just going to cut the same. We're going to do a four port, make a bit of an equivalent. These are Castelli, these ends, so they will shatter if you put them through too much abuse. But uh, in the same time, they are, they're easier to work, which is a good thing. Basically you do that to the one side and do the same to the other. Make sure you line it up. I probably should have marked it out but I didn't because I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm also careful car batteries. They don't like this sort of stuff. It will stick a couple of times, don't worry about that. Basically, let's get that off the tripod. There we go. That's what we've done. Now the next step is to take it out. Put it sideways like that. And I'll show you what to do next. Okay, next step, grab it uh, horizontally like this in your vise see your line there take a uh, gavel or a mallet and a screwdriver make sure it's an old one you don't want put it on like that and hit it it should break off but this one's pretty tough so it will take a couple of shots sometimes it also helps if it really won't go just to uh, get it started something I probably should have done beforehand. Let's give another shot and see if it wants to go. Like that. It will take a couple of shots, but like I said, it's Castelli, so it will shatter. You can just knock it off. So there you go, we've got a two port now. Basically, we're going to do the same here. There you have it. Uh, it took about 10 minutes to do that. That's actually pretty well balanced as well. It's not vibrating or anything when you spin it up. Oh, a tiny bit. Next step is to uh, smooth down all of those um, burrs on it and build our stator. Okay, now that we've done the rotor, you can start on the stator. This is the uh, probably the easiest part of the whole thing. Marked out where each port is. 
when it's uh, fixed. And we're basically going to cut out some Ellie Flash, which is, uh, I think this is uh, either one mil or half mil um, thickness into our little rectangles that are about the, uh, the length of these two parts put together, so about that high. And uh, I'm going to super glue and electrical tape them on. Basically all we're going to do is put a little bit of super glue, not too much, but just a bit. Also make sure it doesn't stick and uh, glue it on like so. I'll try to keep it in focus. And since this is um is super glue, so it will just stick instantly, which is the good thing. And uh, we put them all on and. Then we'll uh, balance each one or at least bend them out and uh, tune it so that they don't collide with the rotor. But that's, uh, that's fairly straightforward that. We'll uh, glue the rest of them on and uh, put some tape around just to give it a bit more security and give it a test run. A bit of time later and here it is. All complete, working nicely. The way you space the, uh, the stator fins in the rotor is with another piece of Ellie Flash the same size. You basically stuck it, stuff it uh, down the end like that, roll it on the table or a hard surface, and it should hopefully curve the uh, each of the stators very minutely to the curvature of the rotor, and it'll also space it out so that you don't get any collisions between the two. But uh, that's all there is to it. I'll stick a um, pulley on that end, get out that uh, hard drive motor, and Give it a shot. Okay, let's give her a test run. Just going to uh, rim drive it at the moment. Very impressive. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope that uh, gave you a few tips on how to build these. Thanks for watching.